What's good y'all, your boy Ross back at again with another video. So shout out to everyone that uh joined us for the SmackDown live stream reactions a little bit earlier today. Um they uh we were able to watch it on Twitch um at the original air date. Um it started I want to say um 1 p.m central standard time because they're already overseas so um, we you know decided to watch it um a little bit earlier than when it will premiere in the united states um because we're going to be busy tonight me and dub we got some um other situations and prior engagements we wanted to make sure that we're there for um but we also wanted to get the you know check it out on live for you guys and we also plan uh saved our live stream from twitch and we're posting it on the in the clutch page around the same time smackdown is supposed to air so uh the reason why you're probably seeing this particular video talking about aj styles and cody Rhodes promo so quickly after smackdown uh just finished is because i've already pre-recorded this but i wanted to get this out to you guys because i wanted to talk about it this was a really good promo segment between both of these guys they went out and cooked first and foremost glasgow scotland they already showed out they this was a pretty good crowd especially when cody came out there the reception cody got as soon as his music hit in the crowd singing his song word for word the pop he got this this lets me know this crowd tomorrow for clash at the castle they're going to be fantastic they're going to be on it and i enjoyed this especially for this particular match that we have right here between cody and aj this crowd is pro cody and they're not holding it back hell uh, i think at the little press conference they had or the little presser that they had before smackdown cody jumped into the crowd and he you know he was crowd surfing they were carrying him around the crowd, bro. He's that over. And they they definitely let it know be known in this promo segment. Cody comes out there and you know he's 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 understandably upset. He's understandably irritated. And he, he basically calls Cody like you're pretty much what a lot of people in the business don't try to be that that person that wants that one more match that one more title opportunity that one more chance you're becoming that guy you came out here basically ripping off mark henry which i thought that was a cool uh nod to mark henry shout out to mark um you know getting his just due because i mean he basically did the same thing mark henry did to john cena he fooled john cena into thinking he was retiring only to attack him the same thing here and he basically you know was just letting it be known like aj bro like i i have so much respect for you but what you doing is some sucker shit so aj comes out there and he has his homies with him and he as soon as he tried to talk there's this cody chant that you guys you know will see that the crowd just didn't even let him speak they're doing this cody chant and i love it Cody was embracing it too, even before he started his promo. You could barely hear him. And, you know, Cody's like, you know, that's cool. You can say what you want. You can talk all the trash you want, all this other stuff. But why are you saying that from over there with your homies? If you're not scared, if you're man enough, why don't you say what you got to say in my face? This was supposed to be a face off. Come on, get up here. So he told his uh you know his homies all right go to the back i got this he goes up here and this is when this promo started cooking and i love what they did here aj essentially was basically saying i had to work my ass to get where i got here into wwe but you you're different you quit everywhere you went you quit here then you quit in new japan then you quit in ROH. Then you help build up something, build a build a company with your friend. They didn't mention the name, obviously. And then you quit there too. So it's very ironic that you want to have this match with me when Cody, all you do is quit. And I love what how they tied it into the theme of the match is I quitting. Cody quit everywhere else so what makes you think you're not gonna quit against me 
and I love Cody's response. He's like, I, I get where you're coming from. I see see how you can, you know, make that correlation. But what you fail to understand is if I don't quit, I don't have this. I don't have the WWE championship. I don't be where I'm at right now. Me quitting mate was the best business this best decision for me me knowing my my worth and value and betting on myself that's what i did it's not quitting i bet on myself and now i'm at the top which makes sense he had to quit cody had to leave wwe he had to do all the things he had to do. He had to be a part of the start of the AEW, the process of that. He had to be involved in all these things because if he's not, we don't get this version of Cody. We don't get him winning the championship. We don't get it. There is no story to finish because he never quit. And Lord knows how long he would have been in that Stardust gimmick. They they would have he would have been nothing but if anything, they probably would have fired him before he even quit, to be honest with you. But I love that he mentioned that. I love that he made that, you know, that point very clear. And he 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 also let it be known that tomorrow I'm gonna be I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm going to make you say the words that you should have said a very long time ago. And AJ was like, I get what you're saying. I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm going to do whatever I have to do, whatever it takes. Because I know you, you're you not going to quit. He mentioned him facing Seth Rollins with a torn peck. He's like, I get it. I understand. But I'm not Seth. I'm AJ. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to make you say I quit. And it was a great back and forth. Me telling it the way I'm telling it. it doesn't even do you justice. Go back. If you've already seen the promo, then you understand how great it is. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it in its entirety. It hypes you up for a match. Even though you know how it's going to end, it still hypes you up to see this match. Because you know they're going to try to legitimately destroy each other. The question is, how far will AJ go and how far Cody will go? Because... I want to see what Cody's willing to do here. How deep and, and dark are you willing to go here to make AJ say I quit? Because AJ's going to have help. So he's going to, Cody's going to have to dispose of the help with his OC homies, his OC click. And then he's going to have to dispose of, 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 of AJ. And I do think his mom. Uh, they were saying that his mom was going to be there. So I don't know if she's going to be in the front row uh, like she was at WrestleMania. But if if AJ tried to get his mom involved, Cody's mom involved, Cody's going to snap. And I'm all for seeing Homelander Cody snap. Fuck it. Pack him up. Pack him up. Get him out of here. I, I, I just want to see it. Because I feel like if we're going to have this Cody versus Rock uh, go again, Cody gonna have to he's the champ now. So you're gonna have to act like the champ and he's gonna have to be aggressive like the champ. And you have to come in there with some intensity to match the rocks. If the rock allows him to do that, we you know how that can go. But either way, I love this promo segment. This was great. Got me hyped for the match. I know the how it's gonna end, but at the same time, I'm still excited to see how all this plays out. Comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this promo segment between Cody and AJ Styles? I know I did. This was fun. The whole story of revolving of Cody always quitting and basically AJ saying, you're going to quit once again. I like that. And of course, Cody essentially is like, nah, you, you, you tried to get this match on the basis of you quitting. So I'm going to actually make you quit for real this time. So should be a great one let me know how y'all felt about this promo segment also let me know if you guys are excited about clash at the castle tomorrow but i appreciate all the love and support y'all have shown on the channel road to 50k and i'm still young speed the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace